Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flicking Feathers again today. And uh, I'm tying Bonefish Fly Christmas Island Special. Deadly little pattern. Um, obviously, invented for the South Pacific, Christmas Island. But works really well in other places. I've done pretty well with it in the Southern Yucatan as well. So, well worth a place in your box. This is an orange version I'm tying. Uh, tying it for somebody who's going to the Seychelles, and that's on, this is on the list. So, the hook I'm using is a size 6, Gamma Katsu SL11 3H, and I'm running on some 8 aught fluorescent fire orange or fluorescent orange uh, UTC. It's the wee wiper super glue there. And I'll run my thread all the way back and just slightly round the bend to my button line with the barb. Take it back up, nice touch and turns. Over the glue that gives you a nice solid secure base. This just all adds to the durability of the fly. The eyes I'm using are fluorescent orange, it's these hairline double pupil lead eyes and extra small but again adjust them use whatever you like to suit where you're fishing but these are I really like these eyes make sure they're nice and nice and straight nice and square over and under and then round the base. Same again. Then I'll come in as usual. A wee bit of super glue. Make sure your bobbin's out of the way. And I'll touch the, the thread and top as well. Take another couple of turns of thread over. Now, there's only two more materials in this fly, and the first one is Pearly Crystal Flash, number nine. Uh, and I'll take a half a dozen strands or so, and then I'll just Pull the ends so they're kind of uneven. And then I'll position them so that I've got about a hook length of a tail out beyond the back. And I'll catch it behind the eyes, run the thread down, just holding this on the top. And then I'll very quickly just run up and down with the thread a couple of times. Put a nice orange base and then I'll start to put a slight taper. Oops. I just hit the hook point with my thread there, but that's no problem. Come over, catch it off. Down and back up. In just a build a, a slight underbody, it doesn't need to be very pronounced. Trim away my waist, take my, th my thread in front of the dumbbells, I'll just throw in a wee half hitch, just in case I bump it. Take my the loose ends, so this is I've got the whole the full length of the crystal flash, I'm just going to wind it back. The tail, and then bring it forward again. A nice flashy, pearly body. Just catch that in, tie it off, and I'll trim away the waist. Tidy up. 
Now at this stage I like to come in with some UV resin. This isn't in the original dressing but it makes a much tougher, much more durable fly. So I'll just come in, I'm going to bead the length of the body. Just tease it around. Get the other side, which will be the top of your fly as it's fished. And I like to also just sort of bring this up as you would a clouser, sort of to make a sort of smooth transition. And the UV resin really also, I mean, it really makes the the pearly crystal flash pop. You know, it gives you a really nice effect. Just a wee bit more there. And I'll spin it. Let it even up, when I'm happy with the shape, I tip the light. You can see that fluorescent thread and the fluorescent eyes is really, I mean, they really ping, you know. It's a, it's a highly visible attracting fly, you know. There you go. So, that's cured. Invert the vise, take another say three or four strands of crystal flash, fold it over the thread, catch it in and then I'll tie it right back to the eyes on top of the shank and then just split it with the it with a hook point. And then I'll cut this so it's about the same as the tail. Different lengths. Keeping a bit of so it's like tapered and non uniform. Then the last thing. I'm using as craft fur. You could use like fin raccoon or something, but I like the I like to go for a really sparse, really fine wing on these. Um, so I'm taking a small bunch of the craft fur. It gives you a much slimmer profile. Taking away the under fur. Maybe line realign some of the sort of longer fibers just slightly. So I've got a very sparse bunch. A wee bit, it's a wee bit heavy actually. So I've got this, I'm just going to offer this in, same length as the crystal flash, pinch and loop, two or three wraps just to hold it, trim away the excess, and then just for a wee bit of security I'm just going to dab some head cement onto the butts there. Tie it down. Just take it out of the vise and then just sort my wing. There we go. Let's build that up. Build up a nice wee orange nose. And a whip finish. One will do because I'm going to come back with my UV resin. And there you have it, that is a Christmas Island special. Dead simple. Very effective bonefish fly. Lots everywhere. You can tie them in tan, you can tie them in white, orange, 
up to you really just make it just tie them to suit your the water you're fishing so I've got the shape of light and I'll hit it with the, the torch again and that's it so I hope that was useful I hope you enjoyed it uh, if it was, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to my channel or you can head over to Patreon to support me, the link's in the description along with the materials list for this and, well, and all my videos in the description below.